Okay, this is a standard disclaimer. Uh, I'm just an old man fiddling around with an old truck. Don't know everything. Uh, I don't expect this to be a showroom project. Uh, it'll never sell for $100,000 on Mecham Auction. Uh, I am just learning new things, having fun. Um, um, if that works for you, come on along. These old master cylinders, uh, first they're only a single stage, which makes them dangerous. Number two, they've got hardly any uh, fluid reservoir. So I've got this easy fill reservoir from Highway 101 Industries, I guess, dot com. And uh, well, it seems to go in rather well. Um, custom in, depending on what kind of master cylinder you've got. Um, but yeah, adds this much more reservoir to your brake fluid. So here's the clutch adjustment rod. Been soaking it in a vapor of rust. And I might actually see some threads coming out there, but um, uh, I may have to do some drastic surgery to this uh, to make this work. So, there's my uh, adjustment assembly, and uh, did all that without any fancy equipment. Uh, drill press was the only thing that, uh, a little bit extra, but uh, that slight bend was there to begin with, so I'm not going to worry about it. So the back um, is welded, bondoed, uh, just the first coat of bondo. Uh, so far it's only a 20 foot, 20 foot paint job. I've got to go back over it, uh, straighten out some stuff. Um, it's not completely straight, so I've got to work on that. Uh, some holes patched in the roof. Um, somebody stuck a goofy light up there <clears throat> completely disappeared now and uh, took out a few dings but uh, gotta do a little bit more work on it it'll be a long way before uh, it's ready for a nice paint job <clears throat> So, <clears throat> brand new rocker panels. I'm gonna try to use the uh, little kick up pieces here. Uh, I got all the rust off with the vapor rust and uh, immediately put some primer on it so it wouldn't rust again. But I don't know whether this one is worth it. I can put some fiberglass in there reinforce it and some Bondo. Or I can try to replicate that. Uh, we'll see if I can do it. So we got our, our piece here. This is a piece that I'm going to make. And I've got some rust through here, which I could throw some Bondo in there, but no, I'm not. Uh, of course, this we are going to keep the way it is for the time being. But um, good old Cheerios. That is the piece that I'm going to cut out and replace. And 
transferred my little pattern to this piece of good metal. Uh, scratched it in there, so I'll start cutting it up. So while I'm at it, I'm uh, going to make a pattern for this piece. Make it bigger here and bigger here, so it's going to fold over. So we have uh, cut this rusty piece out. I have uh, depainted my patch piece. It's going to go right in there. But before I do that, I'm going to use my good old Permatex inside here uh, because once it's closed up, yeah, can't get to it. So. So what do you think? Here's the ratty original. And there's my new one. So there's my piece that I made with the original by it. And uh, the rocker panel, the rocker panel is rocking. Um, I should have showing how I made that but um, basically you cut it out and then you start bending and pounding and stuff on that. That's what I've been using. My patch here I just regret I could have gone up higher here because this is pretty thin metal started burning through but uh, we got it filled up. I will have to touch up this kind of stuff, I guess, before I put the door back on. So I'm finishing up some floor issues. This is definitely the ugliest part, but this is all gonna be closed off with a, uh, with a piece of floorboard. Um, had one of these fail. The only one that I had fail that ripped out of the rusted floor and uh, I welded in a, a replacement there. Uh, again, I'm not worried about stuff like that because there's going to be a big panel over this. Um, it's not perfect by any means, but uh, it will be serviceable. I got this split right here. I thought I'd uh, show how it's going to repair it. Uh, it's just a scrap piece of steel. I'm going to weld that in there and uh, it should uh, fill in the crack. So I'm getting ready to give this a shot of black. Permatex rust stuff on there. This is seam sealer. Some seam sealer back in here. And uh, give that all a shot of black. The floor itself, I'm going to uh, so put some truck bed coating on it. But up there, it's basically just going to be black. Place these, get ready to make new pieces here for these kick plates. That will be nice and fresh. Making patterns. So I have installed my kick panels, uh, painted both sides. And I got a couple screws. This is, uh, I believe, where the uh, Interior uh, welting goes in here, so uh, that'll be fine and dandy. <laughs> 